today on RCB TV, we're going to be talking about the Tobacco clone of the Goon Atomizer. Right, so here we've got the Goon clone by Tobacco. Um, inside the box, you're gonna get your Goon. You're also gonna get a little baggie here with some extra O-rings and some extra screws. So let's take a closer look at the Goon here. We're gonna break this guy down in a couple of parts. Um, first, we're gonna take the deck out. We're gonna set that aside for a moment. We're gonna look at the top cap. So it comes, the top cap comes in three parts. We've got your drip tip here. Um, it's not a standard 510, so you're kind of stuck with what you got for now. Um, and then there's also, we're gonna set that aside. There's also your airflow control ring. Um, it's got nine holes on it. There's three on one side, three on the other, and then three that are separate. Um, and that allows you to do single coil builds should you need to. Um, any of the Team Single Coil guys want to rock the goon, it's got that option for you. Um, the deck is kind of the coolest thing about the, the goon. Um, you got your positive and your negative uh, posts on here. Um, and when you loosen these screws here, um, there's a little clamp that raises and lowers and you put your wire underneath there. Now you can raise that quite a bit and you can fit quite a bit of wire in there. I've got it open at this point. You can fit a whole two millimeters through there, no problem. Um, there's about a three or four millimeter juice well in the bottom of the goon here, as well as on the bottom here, we've got a little screw that connects to our negative terminal. Um, if you want to, um, once you get your wire in, you just use the Phillips head screwdriver, screw those clamps down, pinch your wire underneath. Makes building coils that are very, very large, very, very easy because of these little clamps here. Um, put that all back together and come up top and talk about the goon a little bit more. So there we've got the goon. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is it is a 24 millimeter device, so it's a little bit wider than many um, RDAs that you may have seen in the past. Um, it does fit, however, really nicely on top of the Rouleau RX200, DNA200, that sort of thing. Um, it is going to be a little bit wide, could hang over the edge of certain devices, so just be aware of that. Um, awesome device for people that are possibly making really gigantic builds. Um, it's a, definitely what I would consider a, a builder's atomizer. Um, Definitely something um, to take a look at if you're if you're looking at blowing massive clouds or putting really cool builds in, into something. Um, and that's that's pretty much all I got for the goon. Um, as always, subscribe to the channel, like the videos, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, and until next time, make, make smart, smart choices. choices.